Mark V of our Terraria uh, playthrough. Uh, and I am Tom. And today we're going to build our graveyard. I already collected a lot of gravestones. And before we start this episode, I found a garden gnome. I don't know why, but it was. Wait. Okay. It was right here. Yep. Where I'm standing. And it didn't even right. attack, and it was creepy. Kind of creepy, yeah. It was like spying on us. It reminds me of that one Goosebumps episode. I don't know if one of the viewers remembers it or knows about it. But that stuff was creepy back in the olden days. Anyways, we're going to make a, a graveyard. A creepy ca a graveyard. <laughs> yes. So the original plan was to build it like right here. Yes, but when I accidentally placed Another tombstone that came mist and uh Yeah, like a graveyard creates mist and the whole screen turns desaturated and uh, it was even visible from right here. Yes. Like when you stand here there's no graveyard, stand right here and you're in the graveyard biome. So that all remains spawning ghosts in our town. Basically. Which is not good. So we decided upon a new spot. And, as always, if you have any suggestions, let them know in the comments. But, the new graveyard spot is going to be on the other side. Not on the other side of the whole map, like where the ocean is, because that's where our angler is. Yeah, we want to keep the graveyard a little bit apart from important places, like our... But hey, um, I'm going to capture like it. Like the Wait. main spawn point for now. Basically, mm. right here, and our tree, and on the left side there's the crimson area, so it doesn't seem very safe for now. I mean, eventually, yeah. Uh -huh. More graveyards in the future, but for now, we decided to build it around here. So when the graveyard uh -huh. starts We're here. misty, the mist will enter the cave, sort of, hopefully. We'll see. First up, I'm gonna remove the flowers, which is a good idea. Yeah, I mean, graveyards and flowers could combine. I don't know. Um, they will grow whenever stuff is already good enough. So I'm just gonna remove them, even the vines for now, since yeah, they will grow I'll back. I'll be cleaning up uh, the area a bit. Wanna keep it. A a little bit more straight. I think it'll look cleaner, right? Hmm, yeah. I mean, this graveyard doesn't really need to be clean, per se. But you get the idea. I want to prepare the area a bit. So I was thinking about maybe building a stair around the entrance. Make the entrance more um, official. Oh, wow, like there's, a lot of, there's a lot of slimes getting here. So, I might have gotten, oh nice, I got uh, yeah, hundreds. I'm probably going to put it in a cave up here, since it's green and it's <laughs> not really noticeable, but eh, as well. It'll do. I had an idea as well, and I was like, that we made the graveyard in a cave. on the floor right here. I'm gonna help clean up. Should we use stone for an entrance? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about making some dirt block road, sort of. A path. I'll um, get our stone from the house. Oh, 
wow. The chest has 99... 999 stone and then another set of stone with 429 stone so we probably have enough stone I'll probably need more torches wait should we use a chandelier um, maybe. oh we we will need to use cobwebs probably since it's gonna be Spooky. So I'm just gonna take that with me. Oh, that's uh, actually a pretty good idea using cobwebs. I'm gonna take more torches as well. Oh, oh there's a pinky in front of the door. Okay, how much can I get from the pinky? I'm still digging out the graveyard area. Wow, the pinky just jumped like a lot far jump, like. Uh, from our door all the way to this part where I'm standing. And I got 25 gel. Oh, while well you're at gel. the house, could you grab a chest? Oh, right. I'll uh, take that with me. Also, in the meanwhile, catching some insects whenever I get the chance. Because we will be fishing uh, pretty soon, I guess. Uh huh. Gotta fix uh, some quests for the angler because he has some important items that we really, really need. Like us, so we, we need really, um, we really would need a golden fishing rod. All right. Uh, um. Dug out a little bit uh, of the graveyard area already. I don't think it's enough, but. I was Blazing. thinking about uh, building some actual graves on the ground. Ooh. Like uh, some chambers, you know? Ooh, yes. I am thinking about Ocarina of Time right now. <laughs> Me too. Ocarina of Time also has uh, an entrance to the... Royal Chamber? Yeah, I mean, uh, there are some entrances below the graves, but there's also the entrance to the Shadow Temple all the way in the back. So that kind of reminded me uh, about Ocarina. Maybe we can do something with that. And I was thinking that this was an entrance to the cave with stone around it. Um, I can kind of make the idea in it. Yeah, the idea of making a Ocarina of Time inspired graveyard sounds pretty cool, right? Uh huh. But that kind of means we need to make, spoiler alert, Kakariko Village right next to it. Uh huh. So perhaps, perhaps, I mean, let us know in the comments. Should we do more Zelda related uh, references in the game? I mean, it could be fun. But yeah. Also a bit hard, maybe. I mean, Kakiko has uh, the familiar windmill with the Song of Storms, of course. Kind of hard to uh, recreate that. Alright, then we also need to uh, stop the spread of the grass. So I'll be placing some uh, basic stone right there. Um, here. the rain song? <laughs> As well, the Song of Storms is kind of, is related to rain, and my guitar is called the Rain Song, basically. As well, what do you think of the entrance so far to the cave? Uh, kind of pretty cool, right? Okay, I'll really need to maybe, use the... Maybe not the wolf. So, uh, perhaps you should um, uh, place some Ocarina of Time graveyard images or videos on the second screen. For reference. Mm. Oh, right. check. As well, the Royal will be uh, 
not on the screen while I'm checking. Oh, I got a banner, so I'm good, just gonna hang that up there as well. Alright, I made a little safety wall. Alright, next up, um, some, some <sighs> actual chambers. Uh, how should we make them? I was thinking about maybe two blocks uh, in width. Right? Maybe? With chests in them? Yeah, perhaps one maybe a little bit bigger. I already got some chests and I might look how it yeah, is. Not so close to the entrance, I think. I think we need to uh, keep the entrance a bit more clear. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I'm gonna search um, some shadow temple pictures right now. I'm sorry if the... Maybe that's too big. I'm sorry if the screen will go away when I'm on my Google searching yeah, the shadow there's temple. There's a little bug in Terraria where the full screen um, button in game or the shortcut alt, does, uh, alt plus enter doesn't really work as intended. As intended. So, yeah, that's why the Toria screen might go away. Not on my screen because I'm not alt tabbing, but uh, on the screen of Dawn, in game name Sarah, of course, <laughs> her yes. uh, Toria went down because she's alt tabbing to search for some graveyard pictures. Right now, I'm checking the Shadow Temple picture. Okay, you can move the Google results over. There we go. As you see, I typed it in, and this is what I'll see. Uh, just going to help Dawn a bit with her search. If I can type from here, ah, this will do. Oh yeah, the entrance sign. We need something like that. <laughs> Someone that uh, recreated. It in Minecraft. <laughs> of course they did. Look. As you see here on the picture in Minecraft. Yeah. As well, I'll need more pictures. I created the little barrier on the left in the rock. Mm. So basically, that would mean there's no grass growing. It's going to grow on the end. I don't know if grass will grow if it's a graveyard, though. Maybe it'll all die out. I don't know. Uh, I'm looking you up. Um, that's some picture, I guess. Slight problem. <laughs> there's no room. Oh, which is fine by the way, we can remove the bottom layer. Okay, so... I heard a star fall as well. I see well, this my, uh, picture on there. Alright, getting there. Uh, sure. hmm. But yeah, basically this would, yeah, kind of mean, <laughs> I mean this would uh, represent the shadow temp, I guess. I guess then. Maybe one layer uh, of dirt for now, so we can still enter the graves. I don't know how many layers is in the cream of time, but probably not two layers so far. Wow, that's a lot of zombies I see there. Well, um, I guess the grace will have one block, oh, 
two or one block distance. And then there will be a grave right in front of the entrance. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, but um, Ocarina of Time is 3D. 3D. Um, this is 2D, so... Did you can't trap me? Uh, sorry, I didn't see you yet. Okay. So what it looks like is, here is an entrance, and yeah. This will look, act as a shadow temple like then, I guess. The entrance might be a little bit hard uh, in 2D. I don't really see um, the wall below it. Why is there a flying fish? So this is just a placeholder sign for now, just to see if it kind of looks uh, alright. Um, can you save me? Since I'm still looking at it. And, as I see, the sign is made of wood with walls. And, yeah. I mean, a sign like this is could do what we are looking for, but it does look a bit weird, and of course it needs to be grounded. Uh, I thought maybe perhaps there's a door? I don't know. It's kind of tricky to create a similar shape. Okay, where is this um, door picture I want to see? Hello? It's just a reference, I guess. So. Uh -huh. Um. That's the graveyard. That looks like it. Like, that's the entrance, that's the house, that's the sign. Graves, right there. Fence, another fence, graves that back. Then the royal family pick thing. Grace, uh, yeah, there. I don't have grace. You do. Hmm. Right. right. And we need uh, to create this little reference as well. Basically, this would be the royal family tomb. So it should have uh, access to a room we have zombies. Ah, uh, there we go. This or is. Actually, resets in the Zelda game. History of zombies. Here we have the picture with the sign, and that it's made of wood. I'm just gonna leave it on the background for now, and I'm just... Uh, there's a flying fish. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not like a good idea. Might as well help. Now you're full of traps. something for some time else I guess. Not sure if we're able to do it in the time span of this episode. Yes. And I'm gonna... There's, uh, how do we enter it? Uh, basically just make it open I guess. Or 
maybe, um, planks? Um, what did it call again? I forgot for a minute. Kind of, that's, uh... Oh, what is it called? Uh, I don't really remember how it's called again. As well, I got, um... I'm probably... Like, extra stone. I give you all the stone I had. Well, um, we have enough for these, so I'm just gonna place each down, and different types on the different spots. Oh, it's getting darker already. Check the screen, it's already dark. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, and it became lighter. And it's darker again. Ugh, dark. Ugh, mist. And yes, there's mist in the cave. Oh, by the way, the way we uh, collect these swears is by uh, literally in this house, and we the Well, now it's like getting very dark already. Yes, it's already a We made the graveyard biome. Done. Video ends. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not yet. Okay, I'm gonna put a headstone. We don't really have room for graves now. I still have a lot of them left. But, uh, only zombies will spawn here and ghosts. Well, I give you a lot of stone. You have 999 stone in it. Well, that's all the stone we had. What spooked you? Aha. I saw that before. More uh, dirt ball variation. Gonna change that. Oh, wait. Come get me one block of stuff. Thank you. That's not one. Okay, I really need more stone. I don't need any more stone. Can you give me some more, please? Well, I just need more, I guess. What? Oh, what? That's a nice stack. Just gonna cover in that the banners. 
I'm still gonna put it in room for banner though. Oh, there's a. Um. One of the zombies jumped on a maggot I wanted to capture. Sad. I kind of like the. Like. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I want to put in a chest in one of the graves, where I'm going to put in probably the fallen star. And in the long, in the long one, this one, um, right above, a guitar maybe? As a song you get. As well, I'm just gonna put in the black babe to just. Oh, wait, I have to. I'm gonna go in. And I'm gonna play the another chest where my garden gnome is gonna go in. I shall take the pictures with me. I saw something I remember from the entrance was Do something with a uh, with I don't really remember what? Um actually um mean the paintings and something like that. Wait, I see a mad god. Why is that fuck up there? Yeah. Well, I don't know what you're going to build. Hmm. Maybe you'll find a crystal heart. Check out the cave and see what's in here. Oh god. Uh, I was in uh, a graveyard cave, I guess. I'm uh, exploring underground. And I can move Aha! I think only wooden torches. I saw a monster taking a torch 
in the crossing. Oh, really, as I said, I saw some um, demon altar. Oh, I fell in call with. I might have found a spider. Cobwebs. Um, Ooh, I found a spine. I found the desert water club. If you're the coming down here, I found the desert caves. Well, yeah. Um, uh, let me 